Hi everybody, I'm Amy and I'm a professional manifesting coach and I'm coming to you from Budapest, Hungary and I mean look at this amazing view. I was just walking down the street and I saw this view from like a little street alley and I was like let me go check that out and here we are. It's like, I mean, come on. This stuff is incredible. So in this video I want to talk to you about the difference between trying to convince yourself and believe that your manifestation absolutely will happen and just knowing that it can happen. So I know a lot of manifesting resources say that you have to believe it's definitely going to happen. And I want to tell you that through years and years, decades of experience personally and with working with other people, uh, you don't have to believe it will happen. In fact, it's very difficult to believe anything is a for sure certain thing about the future especially something that's not very reliable in your experience yet. Like it's reliable that the train will come at the right time and it's reliable that your flight will take off and it's reliable that, um, you know, the pizza will be delivered. But if you if you're manifesting something that isn't, I love my little hair right here. If you're manifesting something that isn't reliable in your life yet, it's going to be very difficult for you to feel certain it's definitely coming. So I want to set you at ease a little bit and let you know you don't need to get there. You just need to know that it can happen for you, that it is possible. Um, and then do the rest of the manifesting process, which is at some point, at least once, focus on what it is you want clearly while you feel good. This is something I talk about in some of my other videos where you don't want to be focusing on what you don't want. You don't want to be focusing on what you do want and feeling bad. It has to be a combination of clearly focusing on what you want in a way that feels good that doesn't bring up resistance at least once do you have to do it every day all day no you really don't um, and then the other steps in manifesting are to release resistance and to detach detach means you don't need it to happen to emotionally feel better I say emotionally feel better not emotionally feel good because I have had manifestations where I didn't feel good and I still got them so it's just better than you don't need the manifestation to feel better than you do now so if you feel bad I know this is really weird but it works then if you allow yourself to feel bad and you don't need the manifestation to make you feel better because you have found a way to cope with feeling bad you might actually hit the right vibration of detachment anyway because it is emotional attachment that we're discussing here I emotionally need this in order to feel better is attachment and that's what you're releasing. Uh, you don't emotionally need it to feel better. That's the truth. You really don't. And as soon as you acknowledge that and accept that, you can start detaching. So again, this is a quick video just to remind you that um, unless something is super reliable in my experience already, I don't get to the point where I know for sure it's going to happen. I have this knowingness that the law of attraction always works and that's reliable but I don't look at each one of my individual manifestations and be like yeah that's definitely going to happen because you can get overconfident and that could actually cause you to look for it and to wait for it and be a little attached so I have found that just knowing it can happen for you is enough and then you focus clearly on what it is you want you release resistance I have a ton of videos on how to release resistance there's lots of ways basically releasing resistance is accepting it and embracing it instead of fighting everything it's saying like okay this is what's happening I'll put the description I'll put the link to my playlist about releasing resistance videos down below in the description box and um, and then work on detaching and detaching is like I don't need it to enjoy my life I don't need it to feel better I don't need it um, to know that I can manifest and, and you might have some nuances of what you're detaching from that take a little bit of practice but detachment is a daily practice sometimes so don't be afraid to keep at it and it should be your final step um, you should be doing the focusing and believing it's possible and then at the end of your manifesting process you should be working on releasing resistance and detaching not jacking yourself up into thinking it's around the corner that's not the last step in most cases the last step is Oh my God, it might not happen. Wow, what am I gonna do now? Huh, I, I'll survive, I guess. I'll cope with it, I'll handle it. And then you go bu get busy doing something else and then that's when it happens. So um, I just wanna put this video out there. Again, you don't have to absolutely know for sure it will happen. You can know for sure the law of attraction works, but also be unsure or uncertain if your particular manifestation will happen. That combination is fine. And just know that if it can happen, if you believe it can happen, start working on releasing resistance and detaching as the final step. So I hope this helps. Um, happy manifesting. And yeah, if you ever get a chance, come to Budapest. It's lovely. I've enjoyed it greatly. Oh, and have a wonderful day. <laughs> this is amazing.
Budapest is amazing. I would, I would do an advertisement for Budapest. That's how much I love it. Oh, I wish I'd booked more days. Mm -mm -mm. 